Teaching your dog to settle on a mat is a good routine that can help keep your dog calm at home as well as places that you travel. Let's learn how to introduce the idea to your dog. The first step is to choose an appropriate mat surface. Ideally, opt for a non-slip surface that's easy to clean and transport. Keep in mind that the surface should be portable enough to put away between training sessions and to move to other locations away from the home. Next, let's pique your dog's interest in the mat. Toss treats onto the space, or place treats in a Hansel and Gretel-like path leading onto the mat surface. You can also lure your dog to the area with treats in your hand. Touch or target can also be used if these skills are known. Mark reward any interest in the mat, including looking at the mat, sniffing the mat, or showing any movement towards or onto the mat. Eventually, the goal is to get your dog's entire body, including all four paws, stationed onto the mat area. Work in baby steps, rewarding progress as it's made. Placing a treat forward on the mat increases the chances all four paws will make it onto the mat. Then, reset the training and try again by tossing a treat away from the mat. A reset like this also works well if you get stuck on any step along the way. Once all four paws are making it onto the mat, it's time to increase the duration of time your dog stays on the mat. Randomly reward for their staying on the space. Then, reward any signs of relaxation, such as lowering the head, shifting into a sit, and ideally, lying down. If your dog already knows the down position, you can use that verbal cue. If you'd like your dog to settle into a specific position, like a sit or a down, start to withhold treats over time until your dog is in the desired position. Once your pet has learned to move onto the mat, you can fade out food treats or lures and introduce a visual or a verbal cue. To start, use a pointing gesture with a treat in your hand, rewarding with that treat once they've moved onto the space. Over time, fade out the treat in your hand so that it's simply a pointing gesture. Or you could also use a verbal cue by saying something like settle just prior to using your pointing gesture. Matt. Good, very good boy. Building a release cue into mat training lets your dog know a session is over. Say free and toss a treat off the space to encourage your dog to move on to another activity. A release cue can come in handy later as a form of reward for calm behavior in real life situations, such as calmly greeting guests or politely waiting in place while their meal is delivered. Next, strengthen your dog's skills with the mat by mixing up the variables. Practice mat training in different areas of the house. Try increasing the distance between you and the mat as you cue settle, or gradually introduce distractions such as other people or animals nearby. As you increase the complexity of the training, if your dog moves off of their space more than one or two times in a row, move back to an easier step in the training. Also, limit the length of training sessions to keep your pet's interest strong. Be sure to remove the mat between training sessions to maintain a positive association with the mat. To further reinforce this positive association, pair positive activities with the mat, such as feeding meals, a food puzzle, or a veterinary approved long lasting chew in the area. Now that you have a basic understanding of Settle, go ahead and give it a try with your dog. We think you'll find it's a helpful skill in your journey toward a fear-free, happy home.